get grease in these lines. Now we're going to grab our pressure plate and we're going to get it lined up or that it matches. Where we'll have six 10 millimeter bolts. Be tight enough if I can turn the whole engine. Let's go ahead and get grease up in these. Alright, that should be it. That we should be ready to install the engine. Uh, hopefully in the morning. Great engine degreaser all up in this channel that the engine has mounted to. I'm cleaning this condenser with some cleaner that uh, we had for our uh, for our HVAC coils and this is an HVAC coil and I just want to get it clean. Alright we're just going to pressure wash the engine bay compartment and the, the AC condenser. We're going to lift the engine up. All right, let's uh, let's start pushing the truck in. Um, I'm going to have you uh, be on the brake. So. Now that everything's a little bit wet from our pressure washing. Could have done that earlier, so everything was a little bit drier, but it's, it dried pretty quick. It's hot out here. I'm getting these four 18 millimeter bolts that hold the engine down. Ready? These over here. These two. Here. All right, we're getting close. Let's uh, try to line this post up just a little bit better. start lowering it. Obviously we're trying to get the engine in. See what we can do. See so that's why we really need another person to help guide the engine or to lower our Am I going to have to take this off? What do you think? How tight are we on the back? Very tight? Um, yeah. Unless you could somehow lower it some more. Yeah, lower it on the rear. Yeah. Alright, well, we found out that we have to take off this fan clutch, or at least in our situation. There's four 10 millimeter bolts, and I'm using a box end wrench. Alright, we got the fan clutch off. Um, note that we had to take this off. Let's uh, start lowering the engine again. Slurring. That's the way we have it held. 
All right, now we're just gonna see how we can get this transmission mounted to the back side of this engine. Go. Go. Okay, now it can be set down. To set it down a little with the engine deck. Please, set it Wait. down a little. Hey, dude, set it down a little. Just a little. Drop wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. All right, well, we're going to lower it just a little bit. You run if anything's going to happen. I'm just going to... Me run? I can't run. I'm fast, but not when it comes to crawling underneath here. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get it lined up. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Um, push it towards me. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We're over the two bolt holes flat on this side. Okay. This side we're off, so this side right. needs to be pushed. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop! Just watch your fingers. Don't do that. How are we looking? It, not good. Right there. Yeah. It's twisted. Um, I think it's the weight of the engine is offset a little. And you need to push it correct. And the transmission needs to go down on this side. Or the engine needs to go up. Are we still have tension? Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna I'm lower it a little bit more. Alright, we're completely off the stand. Okay. And now you're gonna adjust the Try to adjust it. Yeah, go ahead and twist it then. All right, guys. Of course, I'm always a mess, and it's no, raining I'm, outside I'm and dirty. I'm a mess. Uh, I was underneath there, and I lifted it up. So this is what. So we were just right at that point where it basically was in, but we had to just pivot it over and up to get those two bolts on that side in, and this side lifted up, so it just dropped right back in there. So now we're ready to start getting our bolts all started. And with all of our bolts started, then we'll go ahead and then do the final torque and fasting. And then after that, we'll be able to get our wire again. So let's work on that. We might not be able to video because it, it's storming. And we'll see how much we get done. And uh, we're probably going to start on the transmission bolts because this is barely started. The, yeah. uh, the, uh, it's like a pin. And it slid in from the engine side into the transmission like this. And that's just barely started, so we're going to try to bolt that up to get it in right. Alright, we're going to add in about two quarts out of the four quarts of this engine. I'll take to see if any oil leaks out. You'll be watching on the ground. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Alright, we've got a couple quarts in there probably. We will now be installing a $78 radiator we got from Rock Auto. Not sure if I have a part number. There is a part number, part number on top. Right there. More date manufactured. We've got these two ports blocked off. I got these plugs out of Riley's. This one did not really want to go in, so I just kind of put it in as far as it would go before it stripped out and put some seal on it. If it starts to leak at any time, we'll find a different bolt. We're going to go ahead and put the radiator in. It is simple as sliding it down in here. All right, first thing is we're going to go ahead and get this fan installed as soon as I can find my bolt holes. Well, we tried first installing the radiator first, but it didn't work. So we're going to install the fan first, and then we're going to put the shroud in, and then slip the radiator alongside with the shroud. So we'll I'll see if that works. That yep. What are you We're doing? Put some oil in our power steering. Hopefully, um, the don't power put oil in there. No, no, no. Stop. Don't put oil in your power steering. Put only put power steering fluid. This is Let's check it. Check power. it. No, we're not checking anything. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. Install radiator with fan clutch. Will it fit? Definitely not. Okay, so what we need to do, what we should do, guys, is slide the um, fan shroud in first. And then, yep, and hold it back here, yep, and then slide it down, 
and always listen to your little brother, right? Don't. Why? We're putting in these two 10 millimeter bolts. One, two. Yay. Got the radiator installed. We got the upper radiator hose set in place. Uh, Hopefully it won't run. I need to tighten the... Uh, well, we already got the clamps tightened up, actually. Uh, we need to get the lower radiator hose in. This all tightened we up. We need to find the bolt, these two bolts for this sh fan shroud. Yep. And we need to get this lower radiator hose in. I'm going to go ahead and start these two clamps, get them snug, and then we'll uh, put, put the cool in. in. And then hopefully start it soon. All right, somehow I guess I had forgotten the gasket for this. Now I've got a new gasket. It's more like an O-ring. This is a flat flat um, water pump seal that I got out of one of the old water pumps. This was a, a round, what's the part number here, and it says it's for the 2.5 liter Ford four-cylinder 98 to 00. This is a 99 engine. Um, so I got the O-ring on here, but it was a little bit small, and I'm not sure exactly how well it's going to seal, so I've got this um, RTV sealant on here, and I've got um, RTV sealant on the bolts. Let's go ahead and get this installed, and I'll just be using three... 10 millimeter bolts and we're gonna uh, install this water pump. I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide this water pump up in here. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot this gasket the first time, but I did. I know I hurry to get this engine back in. All right, I just gonna get these last two a um, 5 16 millimeter bolts tightened up. Let's go ahead and inst install our pulley. Get those holes lined up and we'll slide on our Fan and fan clutch. Now let's grab our bolts and see if our holes are lined up. Four 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna go ahead and get these snug and then tighten down these 10 millimeter bolts. Alright, and that's how you install a water pump on a 99 Mazda B2500. Thanks for watching. This is also a Lima motor. Lima motor. It's a four cylinder 2.5. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Comment down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns that y'all might have. Again, thanks. A little bit of mess, and the radiator's out of the truck. But it's all together, so let's see if we can start it.